Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into props. When the props is a special keyword in React that stands for properties and is being used to pass the data from one component to another component and mostly from parent component to child component. All right. So props is a special keyword in React that stands for properties and we use props to transfer the data from parent component to child component. Next, we can say props is a data carrier or means to transport data. Next, React props is an object which you get instantly when you create a React component. Well, whenever you create a React component, either functional component or class component, you will get a props empty object and then you can, you know, store the properties in a props empty object. All right. So let us go ahead and let's understand more about props with an example. So let us go to VS Code ID over here. Well, in order to understand props, let us create a new file. So go to components folder over here. Within that, let's create a new file and let's give a name as student.js. Within a student.js file, let's create a functional component and we are going to use arrow function to create a functional component. So here, just type const and let us give the component name student and then parenthesis and then flat arrow symbol and within a functional component let us write the jsx code so here let us have a return statement and then parenthesis within that let's have a div as a parent element and within div let's have a h1 element to give the heading so let us say student details all right next let us print the student first name so let us say student first name as of now let us hard code it let us say Ramesh and then let us also print the student last name let us say Fartare and let us also print student email address let us say Ramesh at the rate gmail.com perfect next let us export this student functional component using default export so here just type export and then default and then followed by the component name perfect next let us go ahead and let us use this student component in a app component so go to app.js file over here and go to app component and here let me comment out this hello world component and here let us use student component and make sure that student component is imported at the top all right next save this file and if you look at the browser over here you can see the student post name last name and email address is printed over here. all right next let us go ahead and let us see how to use props to transfer the data from app component to student component well as of now you can see the student component we have hard coded the value first name last name email address right now let us use props to transfer the data from app component to student component dynamically okay so go to student over here and here let us pass the information so first name is the property name and let us give value Ramesh and then last name let us give value as a Padthare and then email let us give value as Ramesh at the rate gmail.com perfect now we have passed the data to the student component next let us use props to access these property values in a student component so let us head over to student component over here and in order to use props we have to pass props as a parameter to this student so here just pass props okay perfect next let us go ahead and let us retrieve all the properties from the props so here let us remove this hard coded value Ramesh and let us have curly braces within that let us call props and the property name is first name all right so whatever the property name you have given while you know assigning the data same property name you have to give for example if you go to app.js you can see here we have given the property name first name same property name you have to use while accessing the data from the props okay next let us remove this further and let us use props and then property name last name similarly let us do it for email as well 
so within a curly braces props dot email perfect next let us save this file and let us take a look at the browser you can see here student first name last name email is printed next let us reuse this student component and let us pass the different data dynamically so go to app.js and here let us reuse this student component and make sure to close it next let us pass the student data so here post name so let us give umesh and then last name let us give fartare and then email umesh at the red gmail.com perfect next save this file and if you take a look at the browser over here the another student that is umesh student is also displayed over here so this is how we can reuse the existing component and just we need to pass the information okay perfect now let us go ahead and let us see how to pass the object from parent component to child component now we have passed the string next let us see how to pass the object from app component to student component so first of all here let us create the object const student and then first name let us say Ramesh last name Padatari and then email Ramesh at the rate gmail.com perfect next we need to transfer this student object from app component to student component so let us see how to do that so here first of all let us remove all this and here let us give property name as student and then within a curly braces just pass the object that is student next let us see how to use props to get this student object in a student component so before that let us comment out this code all right perfect next let's go to student component over here and here we have props so we should get the student object from this props right so here in order to get the student so here is the syntax props dot student is the property name and then student object has first name attribute next props dot student dot last name and then props dot student dot email well if you go to app.js you can see here the property name student and if you go to student.js here we are using the same property name okay and the student object has first name last name email right so this is how we can use the syntax to retrieve the student object first name last name email next if you save this file and if you look at the browser you can see the Ramesh student details is displayed over here all right so this is how we can pass the object from parent component to child component using props okay perfect next if you go to app.js file over here so here let us pass the different student information let us say sanjay last name jado and email let us say sanjay and just save this file and if you take a look at the browser the sanjay student details is successfully displayed all right perfect next let us see how to use props to transfer the array from one component to another component so instead of passing the object let us pass the array so here let me comment out this and here let me quickly create the array const and then let us give the array name as skills and let us provide the elements in the array let us say HTML CSS JavaScript perfect now we have array next we need to pass this array to the student component using props so here what we'll do we'll just give property name as data and we'll pass skills over here perfect next let us change the student component to get this skills data using props so go to student component and here we have props so let us get the array from this props so here what i will do i will 
comment out this and I'm going to create one more paragraph element all right and here let us say array data and within a curly braces props dot data next save this file and if you take a look at the browser you can see array data html css javascript all right so this is how we can pass the array data from one component to another component all right just remember we use props to transfer the data from parent component to child component all right so this is all about props all right great i will see you in the next lecture